Before we get started, let me quickly show you the application we are going to build. This application is called Teachify and it's supposed to be used on your Android and iOS devices. This is basically an e-learning application and with the help of this application, the parents can easily appoint teachers for their children's and the student can also find the best instructors for their studies. So if I run this application, then here you can see that we have a login page. Below this, we have a sign up option. Let me go to this sign up page and there, let me add some of my details. Once I add these details, I can simply click this sign up option and then the call goes to the web API and we will receive a confirmation message and our account has been created. Let's click this all right option and then it will navigate us back to the login page and there I'm gonna use my details that I have used in the sign up page. All right, now let me click this login option and here we go. We are on this home page and there you can see the list of all the instructors. If I click on any specific instructor, then this will open the details of the particular instructor. And there we have all the necessary detail of this instructor. We can also ping this instructor and email via these options. Let me ping this instructor. Alright. This will open your smartphone dialer. And there you can call this instructor. Similarly, you can send a message to this instructor. And if you want, then you can also send the mail to this instructor. Now, let's go back to the home page. And there, on the top left, we have this hamburger icon. If we tap this icon, then it will open the master page. And there, we have different menu items. For example, if we click this home option, then it will simply take us to this home page. And if we click this change password option, then it will take us to this change password page. And there we can change our password. So here, let me add my previous password. And then let's add a new password. And then I'm gonna change it. And here we go. The password has been changed. And now it will take us back to the login page. And this time, if I repeat the previous password, then I'm not allowed to log in. However, in order to log in successfully, I have to use my new password. All right, let's use the new password. And here we go. We have been logging successfully. Now let's go to this become instructor page. Well, this application is for students, but if some student also wants to become an instructor, then he can simply add his details. So let me add some of my details here. First of all, let's take a picture of the instructor. And then provide all the details one by one. Now let's apply this and here we go. We are now an instructor. Let's go back to the home page. And there, if we scroll down, then you will see that my record has been added here. All right, now let's say, instead of all these instructors, I just want to get the instructors that belong to the Seattle city and teach computer sciences. Well, it's quite simple. All we need to do is just click this search icon and it will take us to this search page. And there, let's pick the city and the course. And we can also pick the gender of the instructor. Right after that, let's search for 
particular instructors and here we go. This time we will only get the male instructors that belongs to the Seattle city and teach computer sciences. Now let's click this logout option and it will clear our credentials and will take us back to the login page. Now let's say I want to log in again but I forgot my password. Then it's not a big deal. What I can do is I will click this forgot password and simply add my email address. And we will get the new password inside our inbox. Now let's try to log in with this new password. Here we go. Alright, well that's the brief overview of this application and there are a lot of other things that we will cover in this course. So are you excited to build this application with me? I hope you are. Then let's begin.